Eric Ten Hag has been accused of a lot of things. Some say he's been tough. Decision maker. He's um, uh, cold with his decisions and ways. When you think about what happened with CR7. Um, what you see what happened with Harry Maguire. David De Gea. All these movements were considered tough by the boss. And questionable to some Manchester United faithful. And another thing is his treatment of the youth. We knew when Eric Ten Hag was becoming a Manchester United manager, he had a reputation of developing youth, especially at Ajax, who specialized in bringing youth on and sending them on to bigger clubs and so forth. And Eric Ten Hag was always someone seen as a innovator or someone who was welcoming developing players. Well, playing coaching for Manchester United, it may seem like he wasn't that type guy. Like last year, he did keep uh, Iqbal with the team as a, as a first team substitute, but he never used him. And then when the chance came to get rid of the young player, he sold him at a, a low fee. Think about guys like Charlie Gardner, who was another up and coming holding midfielder. A fan favorite by a lot of supporters, even myself, Eric Ten Hag allowed him to go to Everton. And the same thing could be said about Savage and other players. But if you think about it, last January he made a decision that proves that he is about a youth. Eric Ten Hag has always said that he does not want to just keep a, a young player and play him just because. They're young and talented. He wanted special young talent. He wanted potential kids, kids who can potentially be um, world class. You see the treatment of uh, Alejandro Ganacho, where he brought him along slowly, allowed the kids to develop at his own pace, and once he did burst on the scene and show that he was able to play on this level, Ten Hag rewarded him by giving him a new contract and keeping him around the first team. And Right now, he's cemented with our first team. He, you won't see him going on a little move or anything like that. Well, last January, he did the same thing with Kobe Mano. Kobe Mano could have left in January. There were teams vying for his services on a loan move. Premier League teams, Championship League teams, and I'm pretty sure some teams across in, in different co continents. Eric, ha Eric Ten Hag made the decision to keep Kobe with with him, not send him on a loan move because he saw something that we didn't see every day. Sure, we knew he was talented, but we didn't know he was going to be the guy who was his breakout star for this um, preseason. Eric Ten Hag came, did not let him go on the loan move, and he also gave him a new contract. And now what we're seeing is Kobe Mano, the youth player, 18 years old, being the star of the preseason. Every preseason match, he's being gotten high praise from pundits, ex-players, teammates, supporters. Everybody's blown away by Kobe Mano. Kobe Mano might have just put him, after this Arsenal game, going against a fully loaded Arsenal club with one of the best midfielders in the whole midfielders you want to say in the world, if he's going to spend $105 million for him, you would have to put him up there as one of the top midfielders in the world. Kobe Mano outplayed him. He shined. He was poised. He was a factor. He, he drew great praise from players, especially his captain Bruno, who Kobe did assist with the goal. Kobe's shown great movement. He's shown ability and awareness to understand where he can position himself to help the team. Even Tom Heaton, the goalie of the Arsenal match, said that there was so much space to pass balls because Kobe Mano was attacking the space and he made distribution a lot easier. Ter Eric Ten Hag does love you. He does want to mold you, but he wants special with you. Not saying that uh, egg ball is not special, or not special, not saying Savage is not so special, or Charlie Gardner is not special. Just mainly for what Ted Hawk sees, or his high demands of what he wants in a player, these guys are not on the level. And obviously, when you see 
the performance of Kobe Mano, you have to say Ten Hag is right by playing this young one, keeping him close to the squad, let them develop and learn from Casemiro and guys like that and Bruno and leaders that we have in the locker room like Mounts and Erickson. All these guys are going to be great for Kobe Mano's development versus setting one alone move. And a lot of people have to recognize that move where Eric Ten Hag made. Yes, we want to recognize moves like we, what happened with CR7 and the moves he made with uh, David De Gea. Those were tough moves that kind of divided the fan base to a certain extent. But we all agree that the Kobe Mano move was brilliant, perfect, the right move to make. He's He's shown that this kid can be a world-class talent. He's not there yet, not even close to being there yet, but the move that Eric Ten Hag we need to salute and recognize was a big, positive move to the club. We're so ready to talk about the tough decisions he made that separated the club. We need to back him on this, give him a salute for this one, but Kobe Mayno has been the star, the breakout, play, breakout player from the this preseason tour, and I am so glad Eric Ten Hag made this decision to keep him close to the team. Once again, this is Casey, 1878 Casuals, brought to you by Terrascope, Moo Moo Mia Ice Cream. Tomorrow we play against Wrexham. It's supposed to be a youth game. Hopefully we see Kobe Mano play again because he's been a joy to watch. Have a good day.